All right, let's go ahead and start rolling out uh, or grab a spot on the floor. And as you do that, uh, let's start off on the back of your legs today. So if you don't have a foam roller, that's okay. You can just use your hands and kind of give yourself a little massage, start moving things around a little bit. Uh, I'm putting the workout in the chat. And so this morning we're doing 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. Uh, but almost everything is we're going to split halfway. So it's really 20 seconds one side, 20 seconds the other side, and then a 20 second rest. And we'll go through the whole circuit four times. All right, it's not going to be any uh, unfamiliar movements, just a different way to put them together. So rolling up and down the back of your leg here, let's move up in between your knees and your hips. So we're rolling out your hamstrings. And if you don't have a roller, you can use a tennis ball. You can use, uh, I don't know, anything that you could roll over. Yeah, you can use the, the, uh, your fingers or the back of your hand. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and sit on top of the roller. If you don't have a roller again, um, you can actually just put your, like use the floor as your roller. So if you can cross a leg over and just put your, like roll your cheek around on the floor, you get something out of that. But if you have a roller, it's kind of better to use that. So we're just kind of moving around looking for a sore spot, like looking for a spot that makes you jump a little bit. If you find that spot, you're going to hang out, try to let the roller press into it or let the floor press into that spot and get it to relax. Switch sides if you haven't already. So again, today, uh, Workout's gonna take 20 minutes. There's five exercises. We're doing uh, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. So at five minutes around times four rounds, we've got 20 minutes. So we'll do about a 12 or 15 minute warm up here. And then have a 20 minute workout. All right, let's, uh, let's roll over onto your front. And here's where, you know, if you don't have a roller, you can just use the heel of your hand rubbing down the front of your thigh. Or we get on the roller and we're moving back and forth. Uh, let's just make sure that the roller can go all the way up to like the top of your hip. So move it over to the side so that you can roll all the way up your leg to the top of your hip bone, the crest of your hip there. And we're moving all the way up and down. And switch sides. Not sure it's a really long. I know. And good. Okay, so let's just roll over. We're gonna be laying on the floor. We're gonna take your, take both heels, push them down into the ground so that you lift your hips up. You don't have to lift them too high. Uh, so we don't want, we don't wanna over arch your back here. So your belly is gonna be strong. Your hips or your cheeks are gonna be strong. And then from there, we're gonna make the letter Y, sliding your arms along the floor down into the letter W. Letter Y down into the lip to uh, the letter W's. So we just slide along the floor there. 
whenever your hands, if your hands come off the floor, that's where you'll stop. So we're gonna go for about 20 seconds here, keeping your hips pushed up. So the hips will stay nice and strong. We're sliding your forearms along the floor. Come on, you're the demo guy. What? Really better stop, Steve. There we go. And good, okay. Let's roll over onto your side. Stack your knees right up on top of each other. Fingertips are gonna to go together. So we're kind of curled up like you're gonna take a nap on the floor, uh, but keeping your knees stacked up on top of each other, you're gonna open those arms up. Open your uh, arms like you're opening a book. And we close. So we want a big rotation, try to keep your knees glued together. So as you go back, don't let your knees come off each other. Keeping your knees glued together and try to get your chest to face the ceiling. We're gonna do about another five seconds on this side and then we'll switch sides. So we're getting a big stretch across your chest, big turn in your upper back and go ahead and switch sides. Just roll over. Again, we want your knees up even with your waistband. So you should, your hips should be at 90 degrees. Knees will be at about 90 degrees. Twenty more seconds. If you open up and it feels good to stay open, then just stay open. But really, we want to go through the range of motion there. All right. Good. Let's roll over to uh, a push-up position. So we'll be in this push-up position. We're gonna push your hips up towards the ceiling and let your heels drop down towards the floor. If you're a yoga person, this is gonna be looking like downward facing dog. And we're just holding that stretch. So you'll be getting a big stretch down the back of your legs. You'll be getting a calf stretch here. We wanna to try to reach your tailbone up for the ceiling. Try to get your tailbone to touch the ceiling. All right, from that push-up position. So from downward dog, you're gonna take one leg and step through, put it next to your hand. Your knee is gonna be outside your armpit. So we just get this stretch here. Try to keep your back knee off the ground. And go back to a push-up position. We'll bring your other leg up. And we should be feeling a stretch underneath that front leg and also down the back of your straight leg behind you. Or sorry, down the front of that leg. Let's switch one more time. Back to the original leg. And switching one more time. Bringing that foot up next to your hand. Try to keep your knee outside your armpit. All right, last part of this. We're gonna walk your hands into your feet. Get that hamstring stretch and then we'll walk your hands right back out. So we're doing a stationary inchworm here. Let's do five. Don't stand up in between, it'll just make you dizzy. And good, okay. So we'll go ahead and stand up. Let's plant your feet on the ground nice and wide. Okay, we're just gonna start bending one leg at a time. So we're gonna start getting a stretch on one side, some work on the other. We're just gonna do about 30 seconds, alternating back and forth.
Looking good, Rash. You look like a hockey player. Good job. Rhonda from the garage today. That's new. Okay. Good. So let's go ahead. Uh, we're going to do an SLDL, but we're going to hug your leg first. So we give your leg a hug, reaching back that SLDL. Bring that same leg up, give it a hug, reaching through. We're going to do 20 seconds on this side, 20 seconds on the other. So the ultimate goal here would be to be, to be uh, balanced on one leg the whole time, the whole 20 seconds. Sometimes that's not going to happen. Good, let's switch sides. Ten seconds left. And relax. Okay. Um, one last thing here, we're just going to take steps forward, alternating forward lunges. So we'll take a step, come back, step, come back. So we're just alternating here. Uh, if you have knee stuff, sometimes forward lunges aren't, aren't so nice. So if that's the case, just step backwards instead for a reverse lunge. And we'll go about 10 more seconds with those. And good, go ahead and relax. Okay, so 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. Um, we've got five exercises. So the first one is just a banded, well, so you can, you can use a weight or a band for all of these. Um, the shoulder press is not so comfortable with the band, so I recommend a weight for that. So if you have both, keep both nearby. Um, for the split squat, you can either hold a weight like this and just go up and down on one side. Yeah, like that. Or I like a band for this because it's it's just a little bit different, right? We don't do it very often. So if you can step on the band and hold both sides, then the band is pulling you down and you have to push back up into it. So it's just a different kind of resistance. Um, so you're going to do 20 seconds on one side. I'll call halfway. We'll switch to the other side on that. You can also do body weight. Yeah, you can do a body weight if you don't have weights. That's okay. You'll definitely get something out of it still. A wide stance row. If you have a band, you'll use that same band and you'll step on it. Move your feet out wide and then you'll grab with your palms forward and pulling the band up like this. Okay, so that's one way to do it. Another way to do it would be uh, with a weight and you'll just use one arm. So bend over, use one arm. Yeah, so that's the other way to do it if you just have one weight. Then you just switch. Um, lateral, let's see. Oh, lateral walks. So if you don't have a band for this one, you'll be on the floor doing a hip press. So be here, pushing your knee down into the ground and kind of lifting your pocket up towards the ceiling. This happens because you're pushing your bottom leg into the ground, not because you're just lifting your top leg, right? So we want your hips to move. If you have a band or a mini band, we'll do the lateral walks like Cole's doing, where you step on the band and then stretch it out as you go. Just don't let your feet get too close together there because they you'll run out of band. Um, squat to shoulder press. As you hold the weight on one side, you're squatting down, pressing the weight up. Squatting down, pressing the weight up. And then the last one is an SLDL, which you did in warm up. It's just going through this for 20 seconds, and then we'll switch.
but I'll be coaching along the way. Let's get hit, let's get started before we lose our warm up. <laughs> um, okay, so the first one, starting with a split squat, you're gonna stay on one side, keep your feet glued to the ground. We're just traveling up and down. Your upper body should be going up and down like you're riding in an elevator. Okay, sorry. Ready? And here we go. So we're kind of trying to fit a bunch in, in in 20 seconds here. So if your body weight it might be a little bit faster, probably get a pretty good burn on your legs here. Switch. And rest. All right, no, is that rest? No. no, sorry, keep going. Just kidding. And now rest. A false start there. Okay, so the band row is next. However, you're doing it, just let's have your palm forward. So it might be that you're holding a weight and you're pulling up like this, pulling your elbow up towards the ceiling. However, you do it, just make sure you have your palm facing forward. Palm forward. Okay, here we go. You got to bend at your hips, dude. Here we go. Make sure as you're bent over that your hips are pushed back. You shouldn't be getting fatigued in your low back here. Your your legs should feel like a nice solid base. Switch if you need to. and rest. Lateral walks are next. Ten seconds. Remember, if you have a band, you're going to step on that band, and we're just stretching it out in between your feet. Since Cole's doing that, I'll do the side bridge. All right, here we go. I'll call halfway. Hey, you don't need to walk on that. Back up. Halfway, switch it up. If you're doing the band walks, it's all right just to go back and forth in the space that you have. So this, obviously, we should be feeling in, in the outside of your hips. Kind of feeling that burn there. And time. Okay, uh, next one, squat and press. So we're squatting down, pressing the weight over your head. You can do this with a band, but it's really uncomfortable because it rubs all over your arm. So I'm gonna use a weight. Go. Okay, here we go. Five seconds and switch. And relax. So for the SLDL, if you have a band, you can use that. Just step on the band, and you'll hold on with both hands. We hinge down like that. It actually works pretty well. Okay, we'll go in two, one. Here we go. Wait. Opposite. Yeah. If you're holding one weight, remember you're going to stand on one leg. Hold the weight in the other hand. And switch. Okay. 
Three seconds, two, one, and relax. All right, so the first round always feels a little scrambly. But now that we kind of know the movements, we'll know how to get into them. We'll go right back into it here. Four times through. Okay, back up to the split squat. Ready and go. Remember, you're gonna be doing most of the work with that front leg, pressing your whole foot down into the ground. Your back leg is just gonna be kind of along for the ride. Three, two, one, switch. Just tapping that knee to the ground or getting close. And rest. Row is next. Again, you're gonna be bent over, but your hips should be pushed back. So you're kind of sitting into your heels. Ready. And go. Halfway switch if you're holding one weight. Five seconds, three, two, one, relax. Yep, lateral band walk is next. Or if you don't have a band, you're watching me for the side bridge press. If you're on your elbow and your knee, you're gonna be pressing your hip up towards the ceiling. Okay, ready and go. So again, different exercises here, the one that Cole is doing, the one I'm doing, but both are for the outside of your hip. Three seconds, two, one, switch sides if you need to. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and relax. Squat and press is next. Putting it in the chat again just to uh, make sure everybody can see it if they need to. All right, here we go. Holding one weight, squatting down, press it up over your head. Three seconds till we switch. Switch sides. Five seconds. And relax, good job. SLDL is last. Wrapping up round two here. After this, we'll be halfway through. Okay, here we go. Hold in one hand, stand on the other leg. Three seconds till we switch and switch it up. Remember we want that knee bent a little bit. The leg that you're standing on, that knee should be bent just a little bit. Five seconds left. 
and relax. Checking in on the buddy, is everybody doing okay? All right. Rai, how you doing, bud? Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, however you're doing. All right, good deal. Okay, back to the split squat, here we go. If you don't have any weight at all, this is probably the most effective one in terms of kind of getting your heart rate up, getting you moving. Three seconds till we switch and switch. Five seconds. And relax. Row is next. Remember with the row, you're gonna be folded at your hips. Chest will face the floor. And then you're thinking about pulling your elbow to tap the ceiling. And here we go. Five seconds till we switch sides. Switch. 20 seconds to go. Five seconds. Three, two, one, relax. Lateral walks are next. Five seconds. And here we go. Five seconds till we switch. And switch it up. Ten seconds left. Two, one, and relax. Good, squat and press is next. Don't forget the squat part of the squat and press. A lot of times it turns into a little kind of half squat in the press. Let's get all the way down. Ready and go. Five seconds till we switch. Switch. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, and relax. SLDL is next. And we're into the final round. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Here we go. Remember if balance is a challenge here, just adjust your range of motion and switch. So make it a smaller range of motion that you can control, that you feel fully balanced in. Five seconds. 
and relax. Okay, last time through here. Starting with the split squat. Okay. Just make sure it's all controlled. One even speed. Okay, ready? Set. Here we go. Split squat is the this is the last time we're doing it. And switch sides. Go forward. Remember, sometimes speed can make up for lack of weight here. Three, two, one, and finish with those for the day. Bent over row is next. Remember your palms are going to be facing forward. They're going to be facing away from you. Two, one, and here we go. You're going to be kind of pulling whatever you have sort of into your belly. And switch if you have if you haven't or if, uh, if you're using one weight. We're pulling that band or that weight right into your belly. Elbows are lifting up to the ceiling. Shoulder blades should be down. Three, two, one. Relax. Done with those for the day. Lateral walks are next. Three seconds, two, one, here we go. Remember pushing that knee down into the floor to lift your hips up. Think about your hip bone going up to touch the ceiling. Five seconds. And switch. Remember, this shouldn't turn into a side crunch if you're doing them on the floor. You should just be lifting your, or pushing your knee down into the floor, lifting your hips up. Three, two, one, and relax. Squat and press. Okay, three, two, one, here we go. Three seconds till we switch. Switch sides. Make sure your squat goes right down the middle. Not fading off to one side. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Done with those. 40 seconds of work left, that's all. 20 seconds each side. Okay, three seconds, two, one, here we go. Ten seconds till we switch. And switch sides. Five seconds left for the day. Count it down. Four, three, two, 
one, and that's all. Let's have a seat on the floor. Depending on how you're feeling, you can sit. You can lay down all the way on your back. Probably be feeling your heartbeat in some way, shape, or form. As you're catching your breath, make sure we're staying tall, whether that's on the floor or sitting up. You'd be sitting on top of your butt bones, not slumped over. Whenever you slump over, you take away the space that you can fill with your breath. So we wanna be nice and tall here. As you're getting your breath back, start thinking about your answers for trivia night tonight. Start, uh, I don't know, studying up on ancient Rome or that's not one of the categories, I don't think. So don't worry about that. But uh, uh, what are the yeah, start thinking of your answers for trivia night. I hope everybody can join us. It will be this link. It will be this link. Uh, so the same link that you use to join this workout be for trivia night tonight at nine o'clock. Uh, yeah, no, no kids trivia tonight, but we'll put some fun categories for you together. We'll see if uh, team Ted and Dale can continue their dominance or cheating, whichever, whichever one it is. All right, let's move up one position. So if you're seated, let's go to standing. If you're laying down, let's go to seated. Okay. If you're standing, we're just thinking about keeping your posture nice and strong. Don't anybody leave yet. Got to write your names down. And Steve Sunghee Ted. Okay. All right, I got everybody. So thank uh, you, Brian. Awesome job today, gang. And happy Friday. And we're coming up on a holiday weekend, but we are, I mean, we're functioning the same. So we'll have a workout Monday morning. Um, I'll make it really well known if it's going to be a little bit later, but I assume we'll just keep it at seven. Quick poll. 